everybody. I'm Kelly, as you probably know, um, and I hope you guys are having a good week. I am here in my backyard, in my shed, um, to talk with you about something that I think is really important and also very cool, and I needed a quiet place to do it, and this is a good spot that I like to come to sometimes when I need a quiet place. Um, what I wanted to talk with you about is how do we hear God speak to us? Um, I don't know if you're like me, but I used to get a little skeptical when people would say that God had called them to do something or God told them to do something and I would just wonder, how do you know? How do you know for sure? And um, it's taken some practice and a lot of prayer, but I think um, I have learned a little bit about how to hear God speak. And so I thought I would share that with you today. First of all, I'll start with a story. Um, when I was in the seventh grade, and I can remember this very clearly, one night I was studying for a science test, and my mom came in from outside, and she's like, oh my gosh, you gotta come outside and see this. And so I went running outside, and what I saw was amazing. The air and the trees and everywhere all around our house uh, they were filled with monarch butterflies everywhere flapping thousands upon thousands of monarch butterflies we lived in the country so they they took up a lot of room there there weren't a lot of close neighbors so it was like everything everything was full of monarch butterflies flittering through the air and they were landing in the trees and um, I thought this was really cool and I wanted to get closer so I climbed on the roof of the house which was something I kind of did every now and then but got on the roof of the house and got up close to the trees and could see how the monarchs were landing on the trees and like were becoming the leaves there were so many of them they were they literally were like leaves on the trees and I stood there thinking how neat it was um, the reason there were so many monarch butterflies is it was the time of year when they migrate and to Mexico and I guess they just decided to stop at our house for the night this big group of them and as I was looking at them I was thinking how beautiful they were but also how butterflies don't really make a sound and then I realized wait a minute there was a sound um, the butterflies because there were so many of them were making a little swoosh sound and what it was was the sound of the air being moved by their fluttering wings. It, it was like almost not a sound, but it was a sound. A little of the air as it moved as they fluttered. And I thought about that, thought it was cool, told my friends about all the butterflies the next day, and then pretty much didn't think too much about that whole thing for many, many, many years, decades even, until one night, I was praying and I asked God to speak to me. And I was having trouble kind of focusing. I, you know, my mind kept drifting to other stuff. And it wasn't like I was hearing God speak to me, you know, like Moses heard God speak out of the burning bush or anything. And I tried to settle down, got quiet, got still again, asked God. He would speak to me and in that moment came that memory of those butterflies and that sound that wasn't quite a sound of their wings and in that I realized God was speaking to me right then about how he speaks to us um, sometimes it can be very soft and quiet and you have to be very still to hear God's voice and so I just felt then that God used a memory to speak to me. And it got me thinking about, in the Bible, the way we see God speak to people. Often he speaks to people in dreams, or he'll speak to people in visions, or um, certainly through scripture. Um, you think about ways you might experience God in nature. Um, some people experience God speaking to them in music. Um, but I have found that two things I think you need uh, to hear God's voice are one you have to practice hearing God's voice and two you have to listen 
Um, I think we're really good at talking a lot at God. Um, I know I'm really good at asking God for lots of stuff and then sometimes forget to pause and just listen to see and hear what he has to say to me. So, a few tips that I think um, if this is a struggle at all for you, which it might not be, but um, here are a few things to, to help you out. Tip one, first you need to get to a quiet place and maybe this is a shed, maybe this is your bedroom, maybe it's just in a quiet spot in your house somewhere um, and you need to be still. Being still is kind of the hardest part of this because you need to make your mind stop going on and on. And um, one way to do this is to actually um, think about a psalm that says to be still. It's Psalm 46:10, and God says, be still and know that I am God. And maybe saying that once isn't gonna help you be still, so you can do this. You can say, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. And maybe by the time you've gone through that, you might have actually gotten yourself settled down and focused. And then essentially you're in prayer and you can just ask the Holy Spirit um, to come and be with you and uh, speak to you. Now, here's the trick. You can't worry if you don't hear anything or experience anything um, right away. We um, know we have to wait up on the Lord and so just because we say, hey, speak to us, that it, it might not happen like that. So don't worry, you just are there listening, ready, if God has anything to say to you. Um, and you may experience a thought, you may experience a memory, you you might not really hear anything come to your head, but you may experience the peace of God being with you, and God is speaking to you by, by letting you feel that. I'll give you an example of how I experienced this. One summer, I decided um, every morning when I woke up, like the second I was awake and had opened my eyes, that I would say good morning to God and also say, here I am, with the idea that I was hoping God would give me direction on what he wanted me to do. And uh, so I did this a lot and some mornings I, I would get a, a, like a friend would come to mind and I would think I need to call them and see how they're doing, I need to check on them, I need to be a friend to them. Um, and some mornings um, it would just be, I felt like God was there with me, there, there wasn't much more than that. But some mornings, and this happened repeatedly, scripture came to mind and it was God saying, feed my sheep, which is what uh, Jesus said to Peter um, after the resurrection and they're sitting on the beach and uh, Jesus repeatedly says to Peter, feed my sheep. And this happened many times. And the reason I know this is I would write down every morning what it was in a journal that um, I had experienced and so, um, like several times over, over a couple of months, that was the, just would pop into my head, feed my sheep. Well, then one day I get a call from Jackson and he's like, hey, do you want to come help with a uh, pow on Wednesday nights? And I'm just like, yeah, because I've been getting this message I need to help feed the sheep. And that just, it just seemed to fit, like, like there was this opportunity to do uh, exactly what God had been telling me. It was very clear to me. So, um, so there may be a point where you're not sure if um, you're, what you're hearing is coming from God and it's always good to um, talk to your parents about that or talk to Jackson or one of us about that um, because it's your community, your community of believers that can, can help you um, figure out if, if that's what you're hearing. So um, anyway, I know that um, it is a joy to hear God speak and um, 
I just hope that maybe this will help you out a little bit. And the simplest thing to do is just to open your mind to hearing God and you will hear him. I'm pretty sure of that. All right. You guys have a good week.